you guys doing that never gets old Woo! yeah not too bad killing a bunch of monsters getting sweet treasure like that flint and steel thing you got to try it again I'd be curious to see it again too I'm dying to know how it works way ahead of you on that one Axel Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Je well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you, Ocelot, doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. We just kill you Gary. take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Uh, oh, no. yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? Draw the sword. <gasps> Had enough this. Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. Yes. What hope do we have? When heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this, it's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. So our best option is let Ivor tell us about this thing. He has more knowledge. Let's go find Ivor. This is nice, this is nice and pretty. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. 
come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Nice place. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, yeah. New Order of the Stone is back in town. It looks freaking awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Wow. Wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh. Not my it's fault! Water. Look out! Oh, oh, help! Oh, oh no. stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house, and also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> you're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean lungs. well, but your house like wants to kill people. Ones. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well? We have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... They've got... Community planning. Blech. Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Slippery slope, Jesse. Today the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? We just got back from that temple you told us about. The one in the jungle? What? You did? <laughs> yes. Great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Okay. Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no. I'm all out. Okay, we better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> you stay out of trouble. Good one. Thanks. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Yeah, I don't want to let the lava house sit there because I don't think the public would be happy with my decisions. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Hey, Blaze Rabbit. What's Lucas doing? Whoa! Lucas!
Marcus! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. It's been ages. Where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Weatherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. You have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? Poor Ruben. I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I get to remember all over that he's gone. Ruben. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. Okay, Spill, what's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. That's not you helpful. see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Wow. So is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay. I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Wait, like, the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way! He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately! Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving! They seem so happy to go back to this temple that we just got chased out of. This is so exciting! <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, 
This is just how I dreamed it would be. Hey, let's not get all enamored with the architecture now. You've got a treasure to find. I don't care about the building. Wow, the looks so thing. different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps. Are you